Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This is your monthly love vlog from May 2020 and I'm using the Romance Angel Oracle deck and the Enchanted Dream Tarot and the Answer of the Angels. And if you're new, welcome and please subscribe and hit that bell on all, then you'll be notified uh, when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and give away free cards and I'm also available for super chat and super stickers. If you cannot make a donation in within the live chat, you can do it before I go live and then I'll be notified and I'll get a message uh, that, there, uh, that there is a payment made but to make secure you can always send an email to your Charlie's Angel Tarot and state your question there and say that you have paid. I usually go around at 8.30 and between 8.30 and 9.30 European time so that should give you an indication to do it an hour beforehand or a couple of hours beforehand then you know that your question will be answered and that has priority in the live sessions and all my cyber angels thank you very much for coming back you are my faithful followers and I appreciate you very much with liking and sharing so giving me the thumbs up and I love your comments and I do get back to everybody ASAP and of course I think you're also you're the last one but not the least definitely not sometimes it's better to be the last <laughs> um, as you've seen uh, what's happened and what the readings are all about if you uh, if this reading doesn't resonate with you then I suggest have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign and of course I'm reading generally for a lot a lot of people so take from it what you can uh, first of all there's f uh, information for donations and uh, website beno below this uh, video in the description box and also this little circle in the corner that will take you directly to the website charliesangel.com first of all we ha uh, we have keep an open mind keep an open mind your so uh, your soulmate may differ from your usual type or and expectations that is if you're not hooked up or perhaps you are not real realizing that you have met your soulmate and uh, that they are different than what you thought it, he or she should be you've got the two of cups so you d aren't definitely with your soulmate you are both emotionally in balance the two of cups um, is like a soulmate card it's a lot like the twins okay the uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah the the, the 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 lovers that's it the lovers it's a lot like the lovers card of, of the big arcana that is also um, your soulmate card and uh, this could be a, a, a water sign this could be a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces as it is the two of cups but it doesn't have to mean a B so it does relate this uh, to this card though very well there might be a wedding uh, in on the horizon for you uh, Sagittarius or you could be going to a wedding as we have the wedding card and this involves a marriage and remember this is a love reading so um, it is a traditional wedding but it could also be a marriage in business because a lot of the romance cards you can also use for general messages when it comes through it comes through you have the hermit card and the hermit card uh, represents this is a big arcana card and it represents virgo so you might be meeting a virgo that is your soulmate or you might have met the a virgo that is your soulmate but don't ex exclude an other earth sign but prominently it means virgo but i don't i never ex exclude the other earth signs okay taurus and capricorn 
It is time for you to take time out to contemplate or meditate and evaluate. Is this really your soulmate? Is I'm not trying to sow any doubt, seeds of doubt with you, but is this the right way to go? Um, uh, because it is somebody that you don't most probably don't think uh, is your usual type or uh, to your expectations. I can understand that and when you do get married it is a big step or planning to get married that could ha could happen uh, that you're planning uh, or that you will be asked in the second week of May. Um, so the questions uh, in your head might be is this the right one am I doing the right thing uh, because he doesn't really fit with my expectations expectations it is an unusual usual type for me I don't I usually go out with fire signs or uh, uh, water signs instead of uh, earth signs Okay, it's j I'm just, um, this is all that the messages that are coming through. This could be your true love, okay? This is the romance of your lifetime and you didn't expect it. Look at this, this is so beautiful. You've got the two of cups, you will get time out to think about it and you've got the ten of cups. The rainbow, rainbow and stars, earth and heaven are connected. Somebody from, and uh, that's past, uh, over to the other side might be giving you this message it might not be the angels or the uh, divine but it could be a grandparent or a grandfather uh, or mother or anybody from the afterlife saying this is the one believe it believe it contemplate see the signs that is what you do in meditation and contemplation looking for signs well, this is also a sign, the Ten of Cups, if you've come round full circle, you've done with being alone, you want a child perhaps, you want to extend the family, so it's time to get married, happy families, happy emotions, you've met your soulmate, wow, new beginnings, a wedding is a new beginning, a birth is a new beginning, you might be pregnant or finding out that you're pregnant and that's why you're getting married and you are realizing that this is your true love. If you are doubtful and you, you want to take your time then the best solution is engagement. You can make an engagement as long as you like. I've known somebody that was engaged for 11 years, got married and they they broke up after two years. So think about it, think about it. Engagement is just as nearly as good as a marriage. Your love relationship is descending to a higher level of commitment. You can do that by buying a house. Perhaps that is will give you emotional security with the other person and balance because you've got justice if you are not in a judicial situation like if you're not getting divorced and getting remarried now or uh, getting engaged there because the justice is also the judicial system the municipalities the registry office it could mean a marriage but it could also mean that you are being back in balance with all this good fortune on your side you know that this could be a life partner and it ba it gives you balance the feeling of justice this is a pretty quick reading really uh, Sagittarius because it's so straightforward Libra was really took on a life of its own it, go and have a look uh, and I think everybody should have a look at Libra because the, the message came out like I said with the romance cards you can also use them for general messages and with Libra general messages just came out it took a life of its own and everybody can learn what's being said or um, uh, foretold like I said the big arcana um, is, uh, uh, represents zodiac signs so the hermit is the Virgo and justice well you've guessed it that is Libra and there you go I've, I, was, I didn't, wasn't even thinking about justice being the card but I was talking about Libra and I just just looking at justice and it shot in my head yes you forgot to say that 
Well, you've got the Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups is Pisces. So then, and don't exclude other water signs, like with the Two of Cups. But it's the Pages, the Queens and Kings, that represent the Zodiac signs and the big uh, some of the big arcana. So there is prominent uh, water sign around you, uh, that's Pisces, but don't forget Cancer or Scorpio. And you've got the Hermit, again Taurus, and Capricorn could be uh, uh, for you there as well. And Libra is the uh, prominent sign in Justice, that is what Justice means, but don't exclude the Gemini or the Aquarium. So that is your message for this month. Are you getting married? Or uh, could be a question of yours if you are thinking about that. And uh, the, uh, the answer of the angel is unlikely. Or am I getting engaged? Unlikely. Then it will be either of the two that's going to happen. But uh, am I going to doubt? Unlikely. These are all questions that are coming up in uh, uh, coming up in, in me. This is the messages that I'm getting. So don't worry, don't doubt. That's being human. It's a big step to take uh, to be married. So like I said, get engaged instead. You can make the engagement as long as you like. But the form of commitment gives the other also security besides yourself. Life has no guarantees, we all know that, but we can work towards it and dream about it. The messages in this reading are saying you are connected solely with each other, even though it is not your usual type. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Saji, and I love you dearly. Big hugs and uh, knuffles and kisses. And I hope to see you in the life. Take care and be blessed and stay safe and healthy. Ciao, ciao.